This video will outline the installation process for the Starteam MPX message broker, in addition to exploring some of the available configuration options post-install. Firstly, log into the machine on which you wish to install the Starteam MPX message broker as administrator. Then double-click the installer. Click Next. Then fully review the terms of the license agreement. Ensure you agree. Then click I accept the terms of the license agreement and click Next to continue. In the vast majority of cases, the Auto option should be selected at this point. This will ensure the Starteam MPX message broker starts up immediately upon system startup. Click Next. Click Next. Click install to install the product. Click done. The Starteam MPX message broker is now installed. To edit some configuration options in the INI file, browse to your Borland program files folder. In that folder you will find message broker 6.8. The file stmessagebroker68.ini contains all the configuration options for the recently installed Starteam message broker. In the majority of installation scenarios, this file will not need to be edited. However, there are some options which you may wish to change. The option set opt con names outlines the IP address and port on which the Starteam MPX message broker is configured to listen. The notation underscore node refers to port 5101 on all currently available network addresses. In the majority of cases this will not need to be edited. However, if you wish to change the port or IP address on which the server will listen, specify manually, such as the following. This would configure the Starteam MPX message broker to listen in port 5102 at the IP address entered. Other more advanced options such as keep alive and buffer values should not be edited without the direction of Microfocus support. In future videos we'll explore the configuration of the Starteam server to connect to the message broker in addition to more advanced configuration options.